Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing a vlog sale in today's video. I have a bunch of handbags, two card holders, and a belt that I'm going to be selling. And I am going to let you guys know in this video why I'm looking to sell these items. And also in the description box down below, you'll find detailed information on pricing, the condition of these items, what kind of packaging will come with each of these items, payment methods, how to contact me, all that information will be in the description box down below. And the last thing I want to mention is, well, two things actually, the prices are firm. And unfortunately, I will only be shipping to US addresses because I just haven't had the best luck in the past shipping internationally. So I think it's just the safest to just keep it to the US. So sorry, apologies if you guys are not located in the US. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's get into the items. So I'm going to start with SLGs first, and the first one is this card holder right here. Well, actually, I call it a card holder, but it's actually a zipped coin purse, and it's in this beautiful light blue color. It has silver hardware, and it's in lambskin. And the reason that I'm selling this is not because I don't love the color, because I really, really love this color of blue. In fact, I tried buying a mini rectangular in the same exact color, but that didn't work out, so I had to return it. So I'm kind of sad that I decided to let this go too, but basically I don't really like this zip coin purse style as far as card holders go. I much prefer the flat card holders or the flap style ones with that little snap button closure. So yeah, for that reason, I'm going to be letting this go, but different people have different opinions on which of these card holders they prefer. This one does probably fit the most out of all of the three that I mentioned, but yeah. I just don't like having to deal with the zipper all the time and this hasn't been used all that much so the condition of it is really great. Um, there's really no wear and tear on the leather. It's just that on the side right here by the zipper pole there is some discoloration. Like part of it is a little bit yellow over here. There's like this one yellow line. I'm not quite sure where that came from. I could only imagine that it came from the zipper pole, but I'm not entirely sure. And then on the inside, you do get these three compartments. This one is made in Italy, and this will come with the little dust bag as well as all of the Chanel packaging. So yeah, this is the first one. And then the second card holder is this one right here. So this one is completely brand new. I haven't used it whatsoever. So this one is in this gorgeous light pink color. It is, I believe, the 22P light pink. So it's like this perfect baby pink color. Um, like I mentioned, I haven't used it. It's completely brand new. So there's even the sticker on the logo here. And this is in caviar. And yeah, this is in perfect condition. Um, you do get this one compartment in the front, two in the back, and then one in the center. This one is made in Spain. And yeah, I just don't need so many card holders. I have two other ones in the same exact style, and that's more than enough for me. One of them's in lambskin and one of them's in caviar. This will also come with the dust bag as well as all of the Chanel packaging. And yeah, those are the two SOGs that I'm selling. So before we get into the handbag portion of this video, I just wanted to quickly mention that I'm actually going to be selling four instead of five handbags in today's video. So all of the numbering that I mentioned is going to be way off. Like every time I say, oh, this is like the fourth bag or the fifth bag, yeah, all that stuff is going to be way off for that reason. So essentially what happened is I was filming this video and I was looking over the bag in question um, and telling you guys about what kind of wear and tear was on it. And I noticed some issues that I wasn't aware of previously but I thought okay I might have caused it accidentally but just didn't know about it but then afterwards I realized that no it's not normal wear and tear it's actually a defect so of course I'm not going to sell you guys a defective bag um, I'm going to do a separate video on that once I have it resolved hopefully so yeah it's only going to be four bags in this video so yeah let's get into it now now moving on to handbags, and I do have five handbags that I'm looking to sell. Part of the reason is because I've added quite a few handbags to my collection this year, 
and I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, but I think I have close to 20 handbags at this point, if not even over that. Actually, I don't think I have over 20 handbags, but I might have 19 or exactly 20. And the maximum amount of handbags that I want to have in my collection, kind of like at any given point, is 20. But ultimately, I would like to be hovering more around like the 15 number mark so when i look at my collection and think about shrinking it down a little bit these bags just don't quite make the cut because i haven't really been using them so the first one i've already talked about in a recent video it is this bag right here from chanel it's the medium classic flap in this gorgeous iridescent purple color um this also has a gunmetal ruthenium colored hardware um, I'm not entirely sure about the specs of this handbag because my husband was the one that got it for me also if you guys want to hear more about why I'm selling this you can watch the video right here I'm not going to repeat too much of it in this video because it's just going to be redundant um, it's also in calfskin which I think just takes this purple color this iridescent sheen so well and it is more durable than lambskin is but yeah you still get this smooth finish on it which is amazing honestly i really love this color just sitting on a shelf but worn it's not really right for me um it just doesn't fit in with the color palette of my clothes the colors that i usually wear um aside from black i have worn this with black before but aside from that it's not really something that matches like my wardrobe so unfortunately i have decided after a lot of debating to let this go and this bag was part of the 17s collection i believe so yeah it is like over five years old at this point but i really haven't used it much at all and i really babied this bag so there's barely any wear and tear on this honestly um i don't even really see any scratches on the logo at all um there is this maybe like a tiny little scratch on like the leather right here just like this one tiny little one you can't even see it unless it's at an angle um and then on the inside this has like the usual wear and tear like where the zipper rests against the inner flap and then also where this um snap button closure kind of rests on the leather right here so there's some wear and tear on there but yeah that's really about it um, this bag is made in France. The inside is also this gorgeous purple iridescent color. Just, uh, it is so pretty. I feel that way every time I look at this bag. But yeah, it just doesn't make sense to have this sitting on a shelf for like 364 days a year. So yeah, I'm hoping that someone will be able to enjoy this because it is definitely such a pretty bag and just look at that it's so pretty and it even has this kind of like greenish um shift to it which is so so stunning but yeah i just unfortunately don't use this whatsoever and then we have over here um my medium lady dior and this is another bag that is just so stunning to look at i love this kind of like matte finish on the leather it's so unique i love these little um matching color charms it's just such a unique bag because so many brands do like colored hardware but it would be you know like black for instance like for example i have my so black reissue right there but like this navy colored hardware is just so unique but unfortunately i just don't need a bag that is this big anymore um last year i sold my medium peekaboo which was a little bit bigger than this and i kept this bag last year because i was like okay it's not quite as big i'll be able to use this but honestly even 
this bag is a little bit too big for me. Actually, it's not a little bit too big. It's it's quite a lot bigger than what I need to carry. So unfortunately, when I bought this, you know, I was thinking I would use it for work, um, carry it to the office because even though this is a Lady Dior, it's not so in your face as the ones with like the light gold hardware because this is all in one tone. Um, but yeah, just with everything that's happened in the past few years, I just don't need a bag like this anymore. But it is so gorgeous. <laughs> the bags that I'm looking to sell, it's not that I don't like the style anymore. It's just that they're not really getting used. So this bag, um, there is some like little wear and tear on it here and there. I have done kind of like a video talking about the wear and tear of the ultra matte range at Dior. So a few things is that there are some parts of the leather that is less matte than others. It's just when you're like holding onto the handle, for example, um, like the oils, the natural oils on your hands kind of get on the leather and it turns the leather a little bit more shiny in a way like not super shiny but like imagine like a more natural finish instead of matte so that's there um there is some little tiny specks here and there on the front um some of the metal has also turned a little bit shinier as um they're kind of wearing a little bit it's not that the color has chipped off it's just the same thing as what's happening to the leather but the feet on the bottom, there is a tiny bit of color loss on these navy blue colored feet. You can kind of see the silver metal underneath, but that's bound to happen because, you know, the point of the feet is to keep the bag protected. So that's to be expected. Aside from that, there's nothing really wrong with this bag whatsoever and on the inside it is lined in suede such a nice material honestly it does come with this shoulder strap and then on the inside it has a zipper compartment as well as an open one which is great for fitting my phone um and yeah this bag is such a pretty one. I think I did this video with my husband a few years ago where he was ranking my handbags um, and he placed this one first even before like ahead of the one that he actually got me. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful bag all together. But I just don't use it so that's why I decided to let it go. And this will also come with the dust bag as well as the box. And it is the dust bag with the swan on it too because I did buy this like quite a few years ago. I don't think they give that dust bag anymore, which is such a shame because I think that since the Lady Dior is kind of like the most classic bag that Dior offers, it should really be like a little bit something special compared to their other bags. I'm just, I'm kind of upset that they don't give those swan dust bags anymore, but yeah. I do have that one for this bag, so that will come with that as well as the box. And then the fourth one is actually another one that I used a lot last year, but ever since getting a few new bags this year, I haven't really touched this all that much. So it's this um, number eight mini bag from Poland. And this is just, it's so cute. Um, it's really affordable but still great quality and it's so lightweight you get this top handle and then you also get this shoulder strap so it kind of has like all the features that are necessary on the bag um you don't get to remove the shoulder strap though but it is adjustable and you do get these four little feet on the bottom such a cute little quality bag but it's really the shade of brown that I realize is not the perfect shade of brown for me personally. So I have um, in this year added two bags in the caramel brown from Chanel. So one of them is back here and one of them is like way up there that you can't see on screen. 
but like it's just it's a slightly different shade of brown and i prefer that one um so yeah this is just a little bit too dark of a brown for me and for that reason i've decided to part ways with this because at the same time i don't need three brown colored bags so yeah that's really the only reason the inside is lined in suede and you do get the four feet on the bottom like i mentioned i don't however have the dust bag or the box for this bag because honestly when it came in the dust bag and the box and even the bag too they kind of stunk like some some cardboards have this smell to it so i basically <laughs> didn't want to keep the box or the dust bag around and this i just let it air out so now it's fine nothing smelly about this whatsoever but yeah that's the reason that i no longer have the dust bag or the box but i will pack it in something else nicely if you purchase this and yeah this is bag number four and i'm actually running really low on battery so i'll be right back after i switch the battery so in my hurry to switch the battery instead of being cut off mid-speech i didn't even tell you guys about the condition of this bag but really there's not much to say about it it's basically in like new condition um this is like a pebble leather and it's worn surprisingly well considering this is like a fraction of the price as the other bags that i have so yeah not much bad things to say about it it's just that the color isn't quite the right shade of brown for me i would consider getting this bag in a different color but i'm also kind of looking at some other bags from polen um yeah I don't know which one I'll get yet, but I do see myself getting another Poland bag in the future. And then the last bag that I'm looking to sell, this bag is the mini reissue from Chanel. It is in this light blue, kind of like really icy blue color. It has silver hardware on it, which is pretty unique i guess for reissues usually they're in h gold or sometimes they make them in um like a soul black hardware so this one is in silver hardware and it is the chevron pattern instead of the quilted pattern so two reasons why i'm selling this bag one is because i might be weird for this but i really love that super distressed aged look on the reissues and i found that on the quilted versions they're much more wrinkled and distressed and i don't know why because i love my smooth leathers and my lambskin leathers but i don't know why on the reissue i just really love that aged wrinkled look um and the thing is with the chevron ones they're just nowhere near as wrinkled there are some wrinkles on it, but they're really, really minor, honestly. And yeah, it just, I don't love it as much as the super wrinkled look. Strange, really strange. I don't even understand it myself. So the thing is, I have two bags that are in this chevron pattern. They're both from the same collection. So I have this icy blue one, and then I also have the lavender colored one and that one i am keeping for now just because i really love the color and i haven't found anything that is quite like that color and i think it'll be harder to find whereas for this color um it would be much easier for me to find a bag that is in a similar color so i'm going to let this one go just because yeah i don't quite like how this one's not wrinkled <laughs> that's really the main reason the second thing is that i actually wear this more with grays than with blues um and ever since i got that bag right there back there that's gray i just haven't been reaching for this so yeah that is the second a little bit more minor reason that i'm letting this go there is of course that little crease along the back over here but that's to be expected there's no indentations from the chain or anything the hardware still looks good so yeah this bag is the last bag from my collection that i'm putting up for sale
And the last item, like I mentioned in the intro, is a belt. So this belt is from Celine, and it's a little bit different from like your typical belt. So this one is kind of like a horse bit design belt, so it hooks on like this. And then like right over here, let me unhook it to show you guys better, there is this Celine Triumph logo on it right there. And then yeah, like I mentioned, you just hook it together like this and it is super pretty. I love how it looks on um, and it does have four adjustments, two on each side. Usually I would say that it makes more sense if they're evenly spaced. So I guess in that sense, then it's two adjustments. So this is so pretty and it's so different. I just love that little horse bit look on it. Um, but the thing is, this is in a size 75 and ideally I would need it in a size 70 because this is a little bit too big for me and they didn't make it in a size 70. The 75 was the smallest they had. So I got it thinking that, oh, no problem. I could just like punch a few holes in it, but you can't really punch holes, like extra holes in this just because of how you kind of like set the adjustments on the belt because it's like it's hard to explain but because you kind of like loop it through this horse bit detail and then it kind of like hooks onto place over here there's no extra room for you to like pull this piece of leather through so you can't really like punch an extra hole here even if you wanted to so yeah i bought like this leather hole punch um it was supposed to be used for this belt and a different belt that I actually sold last year but that did not get used whatsoever because I didn't punch holes in the belt that I sold last year I didn't do it for this one either and it kind of worked like I still wore this for some outfits like this looks amazing with jeans like so amazing like if you have a high-waisted pair of jeans um if you loop it through like all the belt loops except for the two at the front and then you put this belt on it just looks so amazing because you have this whole front piece of detail here just like showing um on top of your jeans it's just uh, it's so pretty but it doesn't really fit me so if it's high waisted then it's a little bit too loose but if it's a little bit lower on my waist then it's a little bit too tight so yeah it just i don't know it's it's not perfect and the thing is i also bought um a different like similar color belt towards the end of last year and that one you can adjust it all you want <laughs> at least for me it just fits like so perfectly so i just haven't been reaching for this one because they do look similar enough um there are aspects of this belt that i like more than the other one but you know fit just overpowers everything else so ever since i got that one i haven't reached for this one as much and yeah that's the only reason i'm really selling this oh my gosh it's so pretty though um and people for some reason seem to be really into celine belts right now so hopefully there's someone out there that would enjoy this more than i am able to and the condition on this is also still really great I mean, in general, I don't find that belts have much wear and tear anyways, but for this one, like maybe there are some like creases on the leather from just adjusting the setting um, on the belt on both ends of this. And that is about it. And I do still have the dust bag as well as the box for this belt too. Um, so yeah, that is everything that I'm selling in today's video. Like I mentioned, Everything you need to know will be in the description box down below. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing for new videos every single week on luxury and fashion. And I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next. So I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.